what's going on guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i want to teach you guys how to use 3d text in your designs all right i come across this comment a lot of people were kind of guy how did you do this how did you do that that was not my design i saw the design on the group and i saw comments people were asking how he did it all right so so i want to teach you guys how to make use of them on your own design all right and this video will help you understand the video i'll be dropping next after this video all right so without any further ado let's get straight to this video Alright guys, so this is Corel Draw, but make sure if you're working with Corel Draw or Photoshop, fine. If you have only Photoshop, that is also okay. But if you have, if you if you're a designer who makes use of Corel Draw just like me, make sure you have a Photoshop on your system because without Photoshop, you can make use of this, this, this tools. All right. So I'm going to show you how to download the tool. And how to make use of them all right so stick and watch this video to the end so guys as you can see I'm already connected to my network so what I'm gonna do is come over to my browser I use Chrome all right I'm I'm gonna go into this um, website called free pick all right so um, most of you see this thing in designs and they're kind of new to you all right some some designers don't do them from scratch okay so nobody should deceive you and tell you hey you're not you don't do the you don't design things from scratch you're not good blah 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 no some of them get their uh, materials online not even some of them some of us all right because i'm one of them so nobody should deceive you that you're not doing well like you know the one that did this you're copying you're doing that no you are doing well as i said all right guys so this is the website or you can use google to get what you want so i will teach you how to search these tools and how to make use of them right now i'm on freepick.com freepick is um all right <laughs> this is a free you know a free promotion so this is you can you can actually sign up for their uh, premium if you have their premium package you can actually have access to everything here do you understand so i don't have the premium package i've not subscribed to it but if you have money to do that feel free to do so if you come over to this search all resources all right like i said if you have the premium you can there not everything you can get here for free all right so now um maybe free pick and partner with me so we can do business so right now i'm going to type 3d text all right now you can see options here so let's try 3d text mockups all right so you can see lot and bunch and bunches bunch 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 a lot of bunch of them here all right so now we're going to scroll down we're going to scroll down and you can see lots and lot of it here now if you come over to free pick and you see something like this and um, this um icon i have a crown a golden crown icon it's for premium you can get it for free any file on this icon you can get it for free but all of these are free you understand my network is kind of slow this morning so um, you can get everything for free those without the icon of the crown all right so I want to you can download any of this and make use of it so in this video I'll be selecting this all right the hyper action action um, mock-up all right so i i believe lots of you have seen this design this kind of mock-up or this text this 3d text in different designs all right but guys what i'm going to tell you is don't make use of this text anyhow like don't put it on every design you see like every design that comes to you you kind of make use of it do you understand because once you you, you use it all the time it becomes common and it's <laughs> It, all right let's go let's let's jump to it so you click on this download all right as you can see we have go premium 30% off 
yeah if you have money like i said you can get it so you can see download for free download free so once you click on this all right the download will start okay guys so i've already downloaded this already so i'm not going to download it again so once you just click on this your download starts immediately and once you're done downloading all right so i'm going to close this for now and i'm going to show you where i have mine so these are a bunch of them which i've downloaded bunch 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 of them so if you download go to your download where you can get your download files this is how it's going to come up so you can see hyper action hyper active text style effects all right these are text effects as you can see hyper active text effect this is it so if you download this one is the same thing if you download this one the same thing so i'm going to teach you how to take out the background how to make use of it on your viral designs all right so this is it so i'm going to open this all right so already once you open your um your zip file make sure you have a zip so a zip for a, a zip um, um opening software in your system all right a zip all right so this is it on photoshop like i told you guys you have to have a photoshop if you're making use of corel draw as a designer have photoshop and sometimes illustrator you know they work hand in hand all this thing work hand in hand so i don't know why people say uh this software is better this software is better bros anything that works for you guys go for it you understand i'm not justifying softwares here there are things corel draw can do that um um uh, photoshop can do there are things illustrator can do that photoshop can do do you understand so it's not like this one is better and that one is better anyone that works for you is even de it depends on who is even behind the software it's not about who is using it's, it's about who is using the software it's not about the software because you can give a novice soft a photoshop tool to use and you kind of mess up the design and you can give somebody who is good at it and he'll give you something nice you understand it's not about who is anyway let's get to read all right so um over here guys you can see we have on this panel here you can see we have title we have um this thumbnail we have color correction you can actually correct everything here all right you can actually like edit anything you want to edit but if you want to make use of it the way it is fine that time i don't even edit anything here I just you know once i get the one that is going to like is working for me like what i like and it's going contrary to what i'm doing in my design so i'll just make use of it guys so if you come over you'll see shadow you'll see background so all right so now i'm going to come to i'm going to come to um, corel draw now let's say for example we're designing a flyer all right and we're designing a flyer so and i want to make use of this this um this mock-up for my flyer do you understand like i told you guys this video will help you in my next upload because i make use of one of those items all right those resources now if you click on this all right so let's say the the title of your of your team and you want to make use of it on the team or anything all right let's say the title of it is um is let's say jesus all right let's say jesus all right so now you come over to this place you change the font make sure everything you're doing in this um in this correct draw like do you are going to do everything here arrange your text here before taking it to photoshop now i'm going to make use of this font all right so what i'm going to give to you guys is the resources actually not the names of this font because i'm just like teaching you guys so now guys i'm making use of jesus so let's change to uppercase you can make use of it on lowercase if you want all right so now arrange your text in current draw all right so once you arrange it once your text are arranged all right so like i said assuming you're designing a flyer all right now what you're going to do is like me i just want to like sometimes I, I i i use my tools here to you know make the text um cool the way i want it you can actually like arrange it anyhow you want it to look like all right so now let's kind of you know edit this text to my taste all right let me say i want to you know just do something like this do something like this you know just basically 
now what you're gonna do once you're done make sure it's on black don't give it any color black now you're going to export the text as png now let's export all right to export this text come over to your file the shortcut is con control e export control e as you can see over here now click on export this box is going to come up so select save as type now locate png all right select where you want to save it now you can give it a title um 3d now click on export now wait for this you can basically make sure sometimes if you're if this transparency is not checked like if it's not checked here once you export it you will still see a background now some people will be like okay i exported it as png and the background is still there i can get a white background guys just check on this transparency it will go off all right so click on ok and um our text has been exported so what you're going to do is come over to your where you, you exported it mine is exported at, uh, on desktop all right so what you're going to do is you're going to drag this to photoshop this way just place it over here and leave this here now go over to your file now come over to this title and remove this this stuff here all right remove this stuff once you click on this icons here this eye icon if you click on it it means show like review if you click on it again it's either you're revealing the visibility or you're hiding it now we have unchecked this and if you come over to this thumbnail all right this thumbnail here double click on it now you are in to the file what you're going to do is remove this by unchecking this um this file this one we have here all right just uncheck this once you're clicking on it it's going and it's bringing itself back so once you uncheck it come over to the one you brought all right everything is on this bar here now drag using your move to all right use your move to this is photoshop guys this is photoshop now come over to your move to and drag to where we have this drop it here all right simple as that once you come over click and drag point it to this is here or you can come over to this drag it and just place it here if you wish anyhow you want it to be all right so that is it now you're going to check it and um it's already checked so what you're going to do is just place it the way it is on the middle now close this bar here click on yes to replace the former one we have now if you click on yes you wait for it as you can see guys it's loading all right so it's loading now it's done come come back to your um your mock-up as you can see boom guys this is it so i believe most of you have seen this and most of you have seen this in design so don't be confused and once you see this it let it not look new to you now we have a background here and you're making use of another background in your design all right now you can use this, this you can use this background so what you're going to do is uncheck this background boom this is what you have now you have it on transparency if you want to like leave the shadow or you can you want to put your own shadow in color draw while you're designing you can remove the shadow this way the shadow is gone now you can place your own shadow if you wish but sometimes i like leaving it so now as you can see the shadow is there so now you're going to save this as png go to file save as all right in this case it's not export again it's save as all right now you can go to save as type as usual locate png this is my png now locate where you want to save i want to save mine on desktop now you can leave it as um 3d jesus all right click on export a box is going to come up also for you to kind of you know guys if you're enjoying this and um i believe you should give this video a thumbs up so that it will be recommended to more people guys we are almost at 6k subscribers thank you very much guys all right so we have this now you can leave this as this large file yeah save all right okay now everything is saved as you can see so come over to your desktop this is your desktop now drag or copy you can actually right click copy or use ctrl c on your keyboard now come over to your file now you can remove this one and paste the one you have guys 
you can see it basically you can actually bring in um let's say your flyer is um five by five that's social media now let's say you're working with a background you want to get a background all right you want to download a background that will work for you you know i i basically download backgrounds when i'm designing i don't keep backgrounds these are the ones i've worked on all right these are the words these are the ones these are the ones these are the ones okay let's say we're, you're working with this background all right so let's say you're designing and you want to make use of a background all right i would love it on the way it's on white background it's kind of you know look cool for me guys i'm not designing i'm just showing you guys how to make use of it all right so you can actually make use of it on different different mockups all right so now let me just put this here so you can see all right so let me make use of it here so you can see basically all right so this is it guys this is it so sometimes you can actually bring in your you know your your flay light flays and you know i'm just showing you guys don't i believe you guys understood i'm just like you know trying to make you understand how all these things works you understand you can bring in light flays so you can make it look awesome you know then they can kind of add a light flay you know i don't like my subscribers to be left behind so <laughs> so let's say we add a light flay here and use i taught you guys all this use your screen all right you understand and they'll kind of add all these things and or bring in this one put it there use cream all right blend it to screen you know you know all this kind of thing guys so that is just how all these things are done so if you kind of want to make it on on, on white background all right I want to make use of it on white background you can actually make use of it also you understand so it depends on you whatever you want whatever 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 you want you can actually put it the way you want it to look you understand basically i'm just teaching you guys how to make use of all this you can see the light flay all right you can see the light flay you can see it you can actually bring any other one any one you want place it here all right change it to scream all right guys i've taught you this one so, so that's why i'm kind of being fast i don't want this video to be long you know you'll place it here and you know like something different make use of it and you know you can add your text you know add text you know do some things you know add text and um, add your logo put your you know like so guys this is how all these things are done and um i believe you understand so like i said don't make use of it anyhow don't overuse it so that you won't make it look so common thank you guys for watching this video if i have any other information for you guys again i'm going to drop everything here so watch out for the next design we're going to work on and we're making use of one of this and um it's going to be superb guys Give this video a thumbs up guys. If you have any question, drop me a comment. If you have anything um, you don't understand, drop me a comment guys. Alright, thank you guys for always watching my videos. See you in my next video. Peace.